गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज टॉपिक प्रेजिडिस इज एन एटीट्यूड यूजली नेगेटिव इट कुड बी अगेंस्ट सर्टन ग्रुप इट इज बायस बेसलेस फॉल्स बिलीव एंड सिंस इट इज एन एटीट्यूड इट हैज ऑल द थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ एटीट्यूड दैट आर अफेक्टिव कॉम्पोनेंट in which the person shows like or dislike usually it is dislike and behavioral component that is expressed in discrimination and cognitive component that is expressed in stereotypes so prejudice is positive or negative feeling about a person based on attitude about the person's social group membership discrimination unfair treatment of a person or group in comparison to others who are not members of the same group stereotype attributes believed to describe a social group let us take one example of a stereotype say people with pink color are mean now this is stereotype will create a feeling or prejudice in us i don't like people with pink color now stereotype and prejudice will lead to discrimination action which i am going to take is i will not allow any person with pink color sit next to me okay now let us see what are the sources of prejudice prejudice being a negative attitude is itself an attitude we had done the techniques how attitudes are learned they are learned through association reward punishment observing others so on and so forth so when we are exposed to the information which is encouraging any kind of prejudice the people also tend to develop pre- tend to develop prejudice okay so but see children people who learn prejudiced attitude may develop a prejudiced personality and also show low adjusting capacity anxiety feeling of hostility against the out group hence you know developing prejudice is not a good practice as it's itself negative next now the second point is a strong social identity or in group biases see the individual who have a strong sense of social identity and have a very positive attitude towards their own group boost this attitude by holding negative attitude towards the other group see this means that in order to promote your group you are and un- you are just demeaning the other group these are shown in as prejudice next point is escape goating let us first try to understand the meaning of escape goating it refers to one's tendency to blame someone else for his own problems okay now the majority group places the blame on the minority group for its own socio economic problem since minority is small and weak hence form prejudice against them next is kernel of truth in this what happens it is our tendency what everyone is saying what everyone is supporting we also support it and uh, develop that stereotype in us next we will talk about self fulfilling proficiency self fulfilling proficiency let's understand it this way an expectation about a subject such as a person event can affect our behavior towards that subject which causes 
the expectation to be realized and just try to understand this concept of self fulfilling proficiency with an example if you wake up in the morning and immediately you thought that the day today it is going to be a terrible day your attitude will make your prediction true so the same goes here the group that is the target of prejudice is itself responsible for continuing that prejudice let us learn the techniques of handling prejudice having learned that what are the sources of prejudice we should work in the opposite direction firstly we should minimize the opportunities for learning prejudice then we should in turn propagate changing such attitude and de-emphasize on narrow social identity based on the in group that is in group whatever means we have to promote our group we should promote it positively and not negatively by demeaning the other groups then discouraging the tendency towards self fulfilling proficiency among the victims of prejudice now we'll study how we can achieve these goals through education and information can be spread for correcting the stereotypes related to specific target groups and then we can also help by increasing intergroup contacts which allows for direct communication removal of mistrust between the groups and even the discovery of positive qualities in the out group the other thing that one can do for removing the prejudice in the society is highlighting the individual identity rather than the group identity you know it's not that all the people in the congress are bad it's which we cannot uh, i am not supporting any political group over here but i am just explaining you this point with this that there are certain personality in each group that should be highlighted in order to remove the prejudice that is existing in the society so this way we had finished the topic prejudice and discrimination if you have